I'm late. I'm, I didn't woke up late. I didn't go to bed till like four. Almost five o'clock. It's really almost five o'clock. Um, I was supposed to have been at the nail shop for nine. It is 11. So I am two hours behind. So yeah, I have to be in Biloxi for 430. It's two and a half hours away. Yeah. I don't know. We just gonna pray. So <laughs> um, I'm about to head to the nail shop. I mean, as y'all all know, my birthday's coming up. So, I have a photo shoot today. Hey, oh. I have a photo shoot today. So, I'm about to go head to the nail shop. Um, I'm going to just take y'all with me as I like prep and stuff and put my wig on and do my makeup and stuff. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get to the nail shop because I really need to be on the road by 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I still have to go pick up balloons. Baby, let's just see how this goes. I don't know. I ain't got time to worry about it right now. Um, do I need my eyebrows waxed? Maybe. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head to the nail shop and I'm gonna just take y'all with me because my feet look busted. It's been three weeks and my nails have grown out real bad. My nails lifting, like, it's just all types of a mess. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on to this nail shop, honey, because um, I can't keep looking like this. All right, y'all, so I made it to the so yeah, let's go get our nails and feed them. I was supposed to have been up. I was supposed to have been up at nine o'clock. Um, yeah, woke up at ten thirty. Took a shower. Took first of all, took me twenty minutes in the shower, and I didn't even know I was in the shower for twenty minutes or thirty minutes or no twenty minutes. Like, you know, I was in there a very, very long time. But y'all, I'm, I'm gonna be screaming. But y'all, so yeah, I had woke up late and I was like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to have been left. So I'm trying to hurry up, take a shower. By the time I got out of the shower, it was 10.50. I got in the shower at like 10.33. All right, so. Yeah. shower whatever cool I was like all right I need to be back home by like 12 30 because normally it don't take them that long to do my dog on um oh yeah I put a hole in it normally it don't take them that long you feel me all I needed was a refill and a pedicure. Don't come up in here fussing and cussing. I know. Don't start. I'm already behind schedule. First of all, <laughs> see what I'm talking about? What? 
So get to doing it, baby. And then tell me why the graduation was today, not tomorrow. Oh, yo, uh, Yes. Girl, they missed the whole graduation. I was too mad. She come texting this morning. I said, wait, the graduation today? They said, yeah, so I'm assuming that you're not here. No, I'm not there. I thought it was tomorrow. Anyway, y'all. Back to my story time. And I still got to stop and get balloons. Anyway, y'all. So, back to my story time. So, I guess there... I guess they're at 11. Cool. So then, they got me seated immediately. I get seated. He started doing my nails. He's looking at my nails. He going to t oh. he going to take the acrylic off, and I told him, like, my nail had been lifted, or whatever the case may be. And he was like, okay, I'm going to see. So then he looked at it, and he was like, we're going to have to take this whole one off. And I was like, okay. Um that's fine or whatever so then he starts looking at all of them he was like yeah you probably need a new set and I'm like okay cool so um I told him I had had that same set since October and so he was like yeah it's definitely time for a new set because if you um keep yes Like, how? Cause I noticed when they was checking me out, um, he had charged me extra for taking it off. You said I need to take it off, not me. So, yeah. So he was like, "You need a brand new set or whatever." So I'm like, "All right, cool." Like, he was like, "Yeah, do you leave the set on? Um, it it'll cause fungus if water gets under. You know, just whatever, whatever." I'm like, "All right, cool. Just take it off. Give me a brand new set." So, uh, he gives me a brand new set. It took him an hour to do this. It took him an hour. Because he had to take the nail off. He had to take all my nails off, put new nails on. Then the girl had to come and do my design. You know, just the basics. All right, so boom. So, by this time, it's 1230. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna be, I'm probably not gonna get home until about mm, one o'clock. Cause it don't take long to do no toes. Bruh, when I said that man took his sweet precious time doing my toes, bro. Then on top of that, what really made them move slow is they was watching the dog on football the game or whatever, whatever they call it over there in the other country, soccer. The football. They was over there watching that while they doing nails and feet. So they couldn't even really pay attention to what they needed to be doing because they were too busy trying to watch the game. I said, you know what? Y'all worse than black people trying to grill and watch the football game. Like, y'all worse. Got me. So I'm like, bro, all right. So. So, cool. So, oh, oh. so, took him, I literally sat in the chair at like 12.30 to get my toes done. He did not, I did not leave the shop until like 2.15. I'm sitting over here like, bro, it don't take that long. It normally don't take them that long. Normally, I'd be in the nail shop, hour, hour and a half. Get in, get out. Yeah, that did not happen today. And I was very upset because I'm already on a time schedule, you know? So, y'all really just, like, push me back. On a time schedule I already had. So I'm just like, bruh, I still gotta go home, go put my wig on. Still gotta do my makeup. I still got so much to do. And he just, they just.
just, they really, I can tell because it's a lot shorter. You should do like one of them low, low cuts. The low, low cuts? Well, I mean, Jordan, when you cut your hair. Originally, I was going to get my eyebrows waxed while I was out there. Y'all, I know I look a mess, but hush. I'm going to fix it. But yeah, because remember I told y'all earlier, I was like, um, maybe I need to get about it because you know you know but and I say yeah no because they took forever y'all like I've never seen them move that slow I've never like I've been going to them these past like this whole past month because my original nail tech, like, she stopped. So, I have been going to her, of course, to get my nails and feet done. Because, one, she's cheaper. Um, two, like, it's just her by herself. So, like, when you go in there, like, you only work with her. So, you know, she's kind of like one of those underrated nail people. The only thing that I just didn't like about her was, um, and it's a Chinese but it's an actual shop. The only thing I didn't like about her was like, she would make my nails too bulky. Like, it didn't look 
you know. It'll look good like the first two days, maybe the first week. After that, they start to look bulky and they just not cute no more. So, I, um, I went to, I went to this place called V's because, you know, she had closed down, I guess what that was It's multiple, multiple workers, multiple hands on deck. You know, it's a one-stop shop, nail feet, wax, you know. That's kind of how my nail bar was back home. So, um, I used to pay a good penny. I never left the nail shop without paying at least $100. Um, and it could just be for something regular, you know? And it would still be $100. I'm gonna look crazy. Like, if my nail would break, I'd be like, okay, well, do I need acrylic toe? No, you don't need acrylic toe. Your nail, your nail nice. You don't need acrylic toe. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, like, I just kind of went with it. But I'm just like, lady, why you don't ever want to do what I tell you to do? You know, and I don't know if it's just because she was lazy, but I'm like... A lot of the times, it would just be me and her in the nail salon. So, I'm just like, you know, what does she have against doing acrylic toes or doing French tip on, you know, the toes? You know? So, when I went to, when I started going to these, and they had did my French tip, First of all, they did a really, really beautiful job just because of the simple fact that they use like this nude, I don't know if y'all can see it, they use a nude base coat underneath. So they use a nude base coat underneath, um, and then they'll put a 
they'll put the French on top. And they also do that for their toes. So when she did it, I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Like, you know, it was very, very different. And I liked that. I'm like, okay, I like this. And then for my nails, what did I do? I think that's when I did like an orange. It was like an orange um, French tip. It was like an orange French tip I had did. Like I have French, French tip, some, something like that. Um, that I had did. And it was so cute. But when I left, I had paid $123, and I was like, mm, you know, that $123 kind of, kind of snuck me, and I'm like, for the services and the quality of what they do, I like to see, you know? So, ever since then, I've been going back, and I think the last time I paid maybe like 101 um, for a refill, and this time I paid 116 for him to take my nails off. I don't know what just happened here. So, y'all in the BR area, and you know, you want, um, you need to find a good nail tech, I suggest going to be. So, I'm about to go on my MacBook, take this shade 10, and just, yeah. This really was nice with the eyebrow. Uh, tutorial. But, um, we're just gonna make it one. Or, I'm gonna include some clips in here because, I mean, the vlog not gonna be long. There's not much to prep for besides. I'm just so upset that they really took that long to do my nails and my dog on toes. Like that, like, originally, like I said, I was supposed to have woke up at 9, but y'all didn't have to be too funny. My body is starting to get accustomed to that and I need to stop. Because I'm about to take some other time so I can go to bed. <laughs> but... Yeah, my body is getting accustomed to being up until 6 a.m. And I'm just not with it. So, yeah. But, for the most part, I just took the shade brown and I'm just putting that all in my crease just to really deepen my crease, you know? But when you do this, like, put it in your actual crease and work your way up. It's about all blend out. I promise. <laughs> Take your tan, tap it a little bit, just go back in with that tan.
actually, because I really cannot see. It's like a, a nude pigment. really get those transitioning colors so now I'm just going to take my leftover concealer and cut this Okay. 
I just like to, you know, lighten that up a bit. Oh my gosh, it's 321. <sighs> I don't want to rush. Because we're going to get there. But I'm just like, I still got to go to the balloon place. Like, it's still so much I have to do. I am not eating today. Me and Jordan need to eat. Because I haven't eaten today. And I know it's going to take us a little minute while we do this shoot. Like, huh. I'm also trying to be respectful of her time. Because <laughs> she did tell me. She did just tell me when I told her, like, I'm running behind or whatever. You know, she had stuff to do somewhere to be <sighs> for a certain time. And I'm just like, I want to be respectful of that. You know, be respectful of people's time. But I did tell her I was running an hour and a half late. We were supposed to have left at one. And all the time we went. So I'm just like, you know, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. So. Just watch. Do y'all ever see, see um, makeup artists that do their um, eyebrows last? I just can't get into that. Because I just, I don't know, I just can't get into that. Because, baby, look, by the time I put this foundation on, my eyebrows are so uneven, so it's just like, I will easily mess all that up. But I do want to one day go to, oh, oh. One day I do want to go to like a professional makeup artist and just see how they do my face versus me. You know? Just to see like, you know? I've never had anybody else do my makeup. Yeah, I've never had my makeup done. And I've been doing makeup since the eighth grade. I mean, I've had trials and tribulations, y'all. I was never perfect. But, yeah, I did learn how to do my makeup or start doing my makeup when I was in the eighth grade. And ever since then, I just, you know, Every time, you know, so I just got a wide nose. I really like this show. And it's by, look, did I say it was by Tyler Perry? So y'all should definitely go watch it because y'all know Tyler Perry be really out here doing his thing, doing his thug fizzle. So, yeah, if I was y'all, 
and I had the UT Plus. I was trying to go watch it. It is really good. It sounds crazy, but it's really good, y'all. Like, that's my show right there. At first, I thought he wasn't coming back with it because I'm like, where is the season, baby? Where is the season we've been waiting? We've been waiting. And yeah, he didn't follow up. The last time he came out with a season was like February. All right. So, I'm going to take this loose, uh, uh, this Fit Me Loose setting powder, you know what I call it, and I'm going to set my face. Now you see how this setting powder really blends into my face. This is what I like. Like, yeah, this set, like, I think I just got the wrong color. Like, I really do. So this one is more of like my actual skin tone. It's, I'm gonna take my nip powder. And I use this. And the inner corner. I need to see the girls do this on top. really dark on my face and it just really be without any of my Yeah, 
this was the thing. Had I got up on time, I could have had this done. So I know I'm going with my. So I'm doing a red lip and mm, I love this lipstick. All right, y'all. I'm finna get on the road. Um, I'll see y'all when we get to the little place in Biloxi. All right, we got baby oil, cake, cake, candles, wine, wine. <laughs> right, guys. So we're at Party City. Bro, my foot hurt for real. I know, but I had my leg kind of like cramped up. Like, oh, beep beep. I had my leg kind of like cramped up, so now my foot kind of hurt. Oh, oh, look at me, sip, babe. Okay, balloons. Do we go behind the counter? Where it started. Jordan, I think it's all right here. You just gotta be rude. It look like it. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even do that. <sighs> Maybe it start that way. I don't know, Jordan. Oh. I'm just holding them. Put it down. I want to do it. Come on. Jordan. Hmm. I, um, I need to get some balloons. So we're getting balloons. Are these it? Why are so high? Or is it these? Yeah, those. These get big. So you think I should do the big ones? It's really one big balloon. It's two counts. Oh yeah, two. This one got six. But they don't have a silver. They got it in pink. <laughs> I already got a lot of colors going on here. This is just ugly. They don't have the color I need. We're gonna get some pink balloons. I don't know. I got um the cake is pink and green. 
is giving croak. <laughs> that was all Glenn. That was all Glenn. I sent Glenn to go get a cake. And Glenn don't do that. Right. You know why he got that? <laughs> Garden love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we. Stop, y'all. Let's go see my favorite. <laughs> y'all yeah. cracks me up. Oh, here you go. Girl. It's a girl. I'm not pregnant. So I guess we're just gonna get these pink balloons. I'm not ecstatic about it. Because, yeah, but they don't have no more six pack. They have a six pack of blue. What are these? Oh, them ugly. Maybe you can get the pink and then. Or you can get this and then get pink around you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. What? I'm going to show you the picture. No, we not. Now I'm going to ride you like a rodeo. I'm, she can't even reach it. Oh, oh. You can't reach it. Reach. Reach it, reach it, reach it. Reach it. Yes, I can. Just have to be rude. Right, y'all. So we finally made it we here. Made it! These are the balloons. They're cute. Got confetti. I don't want to pop it. So we finally made it here. So now I'm just gonna take my hair down so it can fall throughout the shoot, I guess. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my behind the scenes video.